Here's a basic tutorial for Android 2.2. Now I'm showing you the Droid 2. Your phone might be slightly different for the most part. They're the same. First, usually most phones have a locking mechanism. On mine, it's on the top. You just press the top. It'll lock the screen out. Press it one more time, and it will turn the screen on. From there, it'll give you a sliding mechanism on the screen. You just slide the lock icon over. Usually, all Android phones have some kind of button or sensors on the bottom. On the left-hand side is usually a menu button. You hit that anywhere you're at in the screen, and it'll give you your options. If you're on the main screen, you can pick settings, and from there, you can go and change your ringtones, connect to wireless networks, call settings, display settings, all the internal settings in your phone. The home icon will take you back to the main screen. The back button, right there, you'll hit that if you want to take away your keyboard or go back one space. Uh, the search icon, for most phones it will search Google. Uh, some of you will search Bing. Some of these buttons have a double function. If you hold them down, like the home key, it'll show the last six apps that you've had open. The search icon also has a hold function as well. You hold that down and usually on most phones it'll give you a voice to text option for Google searches, text messages, navigate your GPS. The next part, you have notifications. You'll drag your finger from the top part of the screen down, and it will bring up all your emails, all your recent text messages, any notifications from any apps will appear in this screen. You can just push it back up. App drawers uh, usually are different on all phones, but they're usually right on the bottom center right there, and you'll just hit that icon and all your applications will be right there on the bottom. You can move icons around just by holding your finger on the icon. And you could adjust it and place it wherever you want. You can do the same thing with applications in your drawer. You just hold it down and you can put it on the home screen. If you don't want it on the home screen, just move it down. Usually there's a trash can emblem. Just let go on the trash can and it will get it off your home screen. You have multiple screens that you can customize the way you want it. Here is a power icon. Uh, here's some of my calendar widgets. As you can see, I don't use all of my screen. To, to add a widget, just hold your finger down on a blank part of the screen. Select widgets. I have Motorola widgets and Android widgets. So your phone might have its own personalized widgets that nobody else has. And you can see that there's a whole bunch of widgets from different applications. They're just easy shortcuts to those applications. You can do the same thing for shortcuts. So if you want to add a contact shortcut, uh, somebody you can call or text, maybe a bookmark, maybe there's a destination that you always go to. So 
whole bunch of shortcuts. Just take a look around. Most phones uh, have some camera button uh, on the side, volume up and down. A lot of times that volume up and down is zoom out, zoom in. That's pretty much it. That's kind of the basic tutorial for Android 2.2 Froyo. You might have some contact and call button icons. And that's pretty straightforward. Enjoy.